iMovie is a great tool for editing video and allows you to combine video clips, still images, voiceover, music, and other sound effects. All of our students have access to iMovie on their iPads. To create a movie in iMovie, launch your app and you'll be taken to your project screen. Tap the plus button to create a new project. Here you'll have two choices. The trailer option is a highly limited template, so we usually just use movie. You can explore trailers on your own later. Now you'll be presented with an option to select some of your media to put into your movie. You can do that here, or you can start with a fresh blank project. We are going to start fresh, so look at the bottom of your screen and tap Create Movie. This will be your editing interface. You see your preview window, your editing timeline at the bottom, and your media browser on the right. If you don't see the media browser, it may be collapsed, so tap the plus button to bring it up. You'll want to add your visuals to your video first. This may include both video clips and still images that you have saved to your Photos app on your iPad. Your videos and photos will be in the media area. Tap videos to find a video clip to import. Select any clip and you can press play to preview it or tap the plus button to add it to your video timeline. Once you have a clip in the timeline, you will see the white vertical line, and that is your video playhead. This is important for editing. It shows you exactly where you are in your video timeline. Use your finger to swipe forward and backward in your timeline. Pinch out or in to zoom your timeline in and out. If your video clip has sound, you will see the audio waveform underneath the clip in gray. If you don't see it, tap the audio waveform button to highlight it. It's good to look at your audio waveform for your video, if you have sound, so that you can make sure the levels are appropriate. Move your playhead to the position where you want to put in your next clip and add more video if you need to. Return to the beginning of your timeline with the rewind to beginning button, play your video with the play button, or undo your last action with the undo button. By default, iMovie will put in a transition. To change the transition style or timing, tap on it in the timeline to highlight it in yellow. Here you can select from a few styles or choose none for a straight cut. Tap on a video clip to highlight it in yellow. A menu will appear at the bottom of your screen with options for editing. By selecting Actions, you can make adjustments like trimming the beginning or end of a clip by dragging the thick yellow bars at the start or end of the clip. You can also split a clip. Swipe to the part of the clip where you want to split it and make sure your playhead is in the correct spot. Remember, you can pinch to zoom in if you need to. Choose Split from the menu below. Clips can be rearranged by tapping, holding, and dragging them to a new spot in the timeline. Under Actions, you can also detach the audio to separate it out, duplicate clips, or delete clips. Any video clip can be cropped or zoomed as well. Tap a clip to select it. Find the zoom icon in the upper right corner of the preview window. Use your fingers to pinch to zoom your clip in to crop it on the screen. The speed button will allow you to slow down or speed up your clip or add a freeze frame and adjust the timing. The volume button allows you to adjust the audio level of a clip, so you can drag the audio level down or amplify it. The titles button will put a template title on any clip. Note that titles are somewhat limited and will be applied to a whole clip. You may want to create your titles as still images in another app like Slides or Keynote and then import them as images. That's up to you. Just know that titles are somewhat limited in iMovie. The Filters button will allow you to apply filters to a specific clip. Working with still images. In addition to adding video clips, you can add and edit still images in iMovie too. Access your media browser and choose Photos. You'll be able to add photos that are saved in your Photos app. 
Tap any photo and tap the plus button to add it to the timeline. Photo editing tools are a bit different from video clips. Under Actions, dragging the thick yellow bars will lengthen or shorten the duration of the photo in the video, which is displayed at the top of the preview window. Photos in iMovie have what is called the Ken Burns effect. The Ken Burns effect is the ability to zoom in or pan across an image, so you can position where you want the image to start and where you want the image to end. You can enable or disable this. Disabling the Ken Burns effect means you can just zoom your image to how you want it to appear on the screen and it will be static. Enabling the Ken Burns effect means you will have to position where you want the image to start and where you want the image to end by toggling between those two buttons and that will animate your picture on the screen. Tapping on titles will allow you to apply a title to a single still image. Tapping on filters will allow you to apply a filter to a still image. Working with audio. iMovie allows you to add audio to your project in a few ways. First of all, you can bring in sound from your iPad. Access the media browser to import built-in sound effects or audio you have saved on your iPad. Just as with video and still images, you tap the plus button to add audio. Sound in iMovie can be layered, so you can have voiceover and background sound effects. Tap the microphone button to record voiceover directly into iMovie. Be sure to use headphones with a mic or record in a quiet space. When you're ready to record, position your playhead where you want the voiceover to begin and tap record. You'll get a three second countdown, then iMovie will play your video back while you record your voiceover. Tap stop to end your recording. You'll be prompted to retake the recording, review it, which plays it back, or accept it, which will insert it into your movie. Sounds can be edited by selecting them. Under actions, you can trim sound using the yellow handles, split sound like you did with video, make it background, or duplicate it. Sounds can be sped up or slowed down, which puts an effect on the sound. And the volume of sounds can be adjusted to increase or decrease them. Adjusting all of the sound in your video so that it's consistent throughout is good sound mixing. Sound can also be faded in or out by tapping fade and dragging the handles. You can access your project settings using the gear icon. This will apply a theme, which is not essential, just totally optional, and let you fade in and fade out the start and end of your project for a polished look or apply a filter to the entire project.